You are ghosting the most important person in your life and they're literally begging you to pick up the call. That person is your future self and if you don't start having a real deep conversation with them, you'll continue building a life that you will not want to live in. The problem is that we are short term by default. This is because of evolutionary psychology. Of course, we need to be here and thinking only about our short term goals because we need to survive. And that's how we've been living for thousands and thousands of years. Even neuroscience research shows that when people are thinking of their future selves, their brain activates very similar to thinking about a stranger. That's why we stay up late and drink a lot without really thinking about how we will be feeling tomorrow because that tomorrow will feel like a stranger to us today. We procrastinate on projects because we want to do something more fun now but our future self will really 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 feel bad about it and very stressed about it when they get to that point. We can eat and spend impulsively even if we know that will be damaging in the future. Having a real thoughtful conversation with your future self can literally bridge this disconnect because you will realize that that person is you and you will activate your long-term thinking. You will start caring about that person because you should start caring about that person. It will also make you feel more emotionally invested in your own path because you will see that person and you really want to become them but you know you can because this is you. But the problem with this is that you should really take it seriously. Like you should really envision yourself with all of the details and I'm gonna go to through this with you and not just treat it as a journaling prompt or like some exercise random exercise like you should literally build that person in your mind who you want to become who that person is and treat it serious and that conversation should be a serious conversation that you're having so how do you actually do this thing pick a time horizon this would be the first step like you would think do i need this future self to be one week in advance this will help for deadlines or things that you really want to start doing now because otherwise one week from now you will be very stressed or do i want this future self to be in three six twelve months from now because i want to see if my project is interesting if i'm doing something with my career that will grow me if the things that i'm focusing right now on and prioritizing right now are something good for me in the future but i think the most life-changing one is the one from five to ten years from now think of yourself ten years from now that could be your values your goals your how you want to spend your life your habits like literally everything because that person will only be built by the habits that you make today i did this exercise with some friends and i think it was so helpful to basically discover that you switch yourself because probably you have no idea who you want to be in 10 years or five years and especially this one i think is one of the hardest we literally closed our eyes and did like a circle and imagined ourselves in 10 years from now. So I'm 30 and I'm living my life. How am I living my life? Imagine it for like five minutes and write all of the details of your life in your notes app, anything. Like how are you spending your day? How is the sun feeling on your skin? How are you talking and who are you talking to? Who are your friends? Every single detail of your life from professional to social to lifestyle to anything, just write it down. And now take a friend that wants to do this exercise with you or you can do it with yourself or with an AI tool, but I think the friend is more fun. And tell that friend to ask you a bunch of questions and you are gonna be pretending that you are your future self. You're gonna be literally feeling like you are this, your future self. You are just gonna take this role. And that friend can ask you literally anything or just have a conversation, but you still have to act like you are your future self. Like. They're gonna ask you, what did you do today? What did you eat today? How did you go to work today? Did you go by car? Did you go by bike? Do you have kids? Do you have a partner? Where do you live? What do you see in front of your eyes? Things like that. And that will help you build this vision of yourself in the future that you will literally not forget. Like I still have, and I did this like three months, four months ago, I still have that vision in my mind of exactly who I am when I'm 30. After doing this, you can write a letter. To that person write a letter or everything that you have questions about right now like what are your problems what are your questions what are you struggling with what what are your distressors in your life write everything down for like five to ten minutes and then for the next five minutes let them reply and let them literally write that reply back to you and reply to every single thing that you just wrote and you will put yourself in the mindset of that person you will become that person and you will give yourself advice from their perspective. And when you realize what you need to change, what habits you want to build, what whatever you feel like you will get closer to that future you that you envisioned, write it down on a contract, just one thing, just one thing that you just realized now. Write it down on a piece of paper, sign it, and that's your contract. And get an accountability partner to actually take care of that goal. Like if you said you're gonna work out every day, 
then get a friend that will literally check on you if you worked out every day. And if not, you give them money. Like, I don't know, do, do some sort of contract for yourself that you literally cannot break. Like, like, literally, there's no way you will not be able to do this habit. And do this frequently. Talk to different stages of your future. Talk to you when you're 80. Talk to you when you're... I don't know, one day from now. Schedule these conversations and you can do this instead of journaling in a few days. And for you to not forget this, you can literally send yourself emails in the future. Or every year you can record a video to send to your next year. So that will prompt you to think about what you did before, but will also you in the future. If you if you start truly treating your future self like a real person, someone you respect, someone you love, someone you really deeply care about, you don't need to start making perfect decisions right now, but you will start putting more effort in. And you will be way closer to that goal that you created for yourself and that future self that you created for yourself. And start living in a way that aligns more with your values and what you believe in. Point is that you are not just living your life. You are building a life that someone will need to live in. And you should meet that someone as soon as possible. And you should love that someone. Because that is still you. That person is still you. And everything that you do now impacts them so directly. So go talk to them now because they already know what you need to do. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to watch more videos on psychology and personal growth, then you should watch this playlist. Love you guys. Have the best day of your life. Kisses. Bye bye.